I'm getting the You're snip. not getting the snip. I'm You're getting the snip. I promise you. Be real for the podcast. No, no. On a real, bro. I'm getting a snip. You're, no one's getting I'm, a snip. I'm you're getting, not fucking with... They're not gonna make, no I promise you, I'm getting I, a I snip. I promise you, you're not taking a Brother, snip. Brother, I don't want no more children. Check, check. Back in the building, another episode of Elephant in the Room. Your boy C6. Yeah, my yeah, like Dizzle. I just want to beat up the patrons. I love them. Um, I'm not going to say why because I'm not trying to rub it in your lot's faces, but I just love you lot. Okay. And uh, sorry, I've been drinking. Now, yeah, before we even do it like that, because rather than just big up the patrons, what we need to really do is we need to try and tell. The people that are not patrons, why why they're missing? Can I say something to you? First they're thing, missing out. The first thing, don't correct me. Don't start the show by correcting me, because that's how you're going to start the show and and then cut and. Correct I didn't me. correct you. What you I was doing. I was adding on. I was adding don't on. Don't add on. This is not oh, added. Okay. Oh. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Don't. All right. Cool. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, speak now. Okay. Cool. But if you're not a patron, you're missing out because there's so much benefits to being a patron. Now, firstly, you get the full episode. There's a lot of. We cut a lot of the episode. So those on YouTube, you guys are getting the measly little leftovers. Quenke, quenke. The, the, the fenke, fenke, quenke, quenke. You're getting that. And yeah. you don't want that. Anyway, secondly, you're going to get all of the previous history of what we've done. And you'll soon find on YouTube, you won't see it. Yeah. You'll soon see that you won't be able to find the back history of the pods that we've done. We can afford to say that now because we're getting well. You know, like when you're begging it and rare, rare. When you've got six patrons, yeah. you can't say nothing. You can't say nothing. But now we've got enough to say, you know, yeah. we're locking off all of the old stuff. All yeah. of the old stuff yeah. are going to be off of YouTube yeah. and only available on yeah. Patreon. I'm we talking... Enough, we could just do Patreon only show, to be fair. We could do. But I, I still love the YouTubers, you know. That's you. I, I still love them. No, I love I them. But I do think they need to convert <laughs> over. And those who are watching and not subscribing, you need to click that note. You need to click the subscribe at least. If you're not going to be a patron, at least be a subscriber. And no, you know, YouTubers be, have to be on the patron because sometimes, if it was with YouTube, be honest, certain weeks we will say, you know, because it is hard to do. It's a lot. Because remember, we, we used to cheat and do two episodes a week, but we realised it's not authentic. No, it's it's not, not. We're cheating. It's, so. it, it's a lot to do. Um, is There's a lot of cost also attached. Yeah. I think some people don't realise that there's a cost attached to it. Every single episode, yeah. it takes a level of, uh, money to produce to and travel. saying that you know what you get what I'm saying you need to um, invoice your tra- sometime your cost when you take the train because it should come out of your own pocket you know what I'm saying and I'm, that's me being as a friend even though I, sh- I shouldn't I, sh- I, sh- I shouldn't I shouldn't care so it, invoice it to the business yeah and take it out of business yeah you know I have to, I have to travel first class on the train no you're an idiot you don't travel first class nowhere <laughs> you are an easy jet motherfucker well you c- <laughs> sorry to com- and, and next thing as well yeah definitely you, take easy could, jet could you start cutting out the swear words you must be mad. Stop swearing. Stop swearing. Man, can I cut out the swear words? Stop swearing. Cut out the swear words. Well, I'm not doing that. Stop swearing. That shows you that it's just you doing it. When we could pay somebody to do our stuff, you want to look at your face the tire face. <laughs> Stop swearing. Stop swearing. Can you not control yourself? I know I swear as well, but I just follow a lead, innit? You're the older one. Brother, like you are my senior. Because I said, oh, yeah, yeah, the senior. <laughs> so I just copied the senior. No, because it will cut it out sometimes. All right. Don't you, th- this is the point. Why? Why? Wait. You, you know what you're doing? What you're doing is, what you're this doing is, is a you, you've watched some other podcasts in it and seen oh, everything. Everything's cut out. Everything's cut out. They, they do that because they want, like, it's all financials. They, well, I want fi- that's what I'm saying. I'm financial. No, but. <laughs> I'm financial. Yeah, but you know what? You no, we're not. I'm doing it for financial purposes. All fantastic. All no, authentic. About it. We're doing authentic. About, ooh, about that. If you swear, it's staying in. So if you don't want, if you don't want swearing so you don't, in, so you don't, don't swear, bro. I want to be authentic. I don't want to. I don't want to become, you know, manufactured. So if you're swearing, I have to go on. If we have to talk about yeah, somebody swear, bomber, you're gonna cut it. what's you're the point? It. What's the point? Nobody wants to watch this show with a bag of beeps. It's yeah. a joke thing. When people wait, listen, hey, you see, hey, them bomber club, they want to hear that. They don't want to hear beep, beep, beep. They don't want to hear I that. Just, um, so that's it. If you don't want to, if you don't want swearing in it, stop swearing. But the patron version can get the swearing. And, and patron will get it, the raw edit. But yeah. until until 
Until I learned how to do that easily. Such an asshole. You're such a, how was your weekend, Pompey? Nah, it was it was cool still. It was cool. Um weekend, what did I do? I had a um went as in the O two. Mm-hmm. Um went to Wahala and the big nineties. I also went to a sixtieth. I played at a sixtieth. It's quite a decent weekend. Bit busy. You know, I need I need to have a weekend that I'm just relaxing. <laughs> I'm not forcing it because I'm 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 grateful that I get a lot of work. I do need a, just a relaxing weekend. You know what I mean? Then I come in late and then I got to take my son football in the morning. And you know what's mad, yeah? Last season, he was in a different league and they were playing, all their games were around 11, 12. So, you know, like I get a little lie and then I take him football. Well, this season he's in a different league, 8.30, okay. Sunday. Why, why are we doing 8.30 on a Sunday? What is this? 8.30 on a Sunday? That's do they not, not know that I'm a DJ? That's that's mad. That's, there's isn't there's isn't no that life. guys that go bed at seven o'clock on a Saturday? Big big Saturday, and then you know you're there, and then you know what's mad? Yeah, I'm tired, isn't it? I don't want to do football talk with the dads. No, I don't want to do that. I want to watch him. I don't want him to chat to me. All right, all right. Yeah. yeah, done. It's the antisocial when you're there. Right? I'm tired. That's he's lucky I'm watching him. If he weren't good, I wouldn't watch him. You know, <laughs> but he's good. So and then he likes to talk about the match on the way home. So I don't want to be like absent. And yeah. then he's like, dad, did you see when I, and I just got a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like to watch the match, but I don't like to chat. You just want to chat. That's the, that's you don't chat period. So worse than the time, I could imagine you. They, they, I don't like small talk with, with strangers. I don't do small talk period. Yeah. That's what I realized. Like some girls used to get annoyed. Like, I was just going to say, this, but I just don't do small talk yeah. period. Whether it's man, woman or child, I don't like small talk. You know what happened to me the other day? I was on the phone chatting to someone. And they uh, they was they wanted some information from me and I had to log in to something to get it. So I was like, all right, yeah, one second, let me log in. And they're on the phone. But then I'm logged in and you know the thing spinning on the laptop. Yeah. So we're just silent on the phone for about a minute. And like it's so awkward. But it's my brethren, you know. <laughs> but I don't want to talk. <laughs> I just waiting to give him the information. I don't really want to talk. Yeah. So and then he's like, Bro, oh, that's what 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 you got dial up, yeah? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't want to. Ch- I'm not chatting to you, bro. Like, yeah, I got dialed up. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog. Do you remember back in the day when, like, AOL and that? Do you remember, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do still. Yeah, I do still. There's a time and a place, and right now's not the time. Can I say something to you? Not the maddest thing. Everybody, least I'm the way I am. If they know I'm a piece of shit or I'm the villain or whatever, they know that's Dizzle. Mm. You, I've always got to be talking for you in a sense of I've always got to be defending you. Do you know that? Fuck them. <laughs> See the swear in there? I don't care what people <laughs> think, bro. To be honest, I don't care. I am who I am, you know. No, but I'm I a big. Swear, yeah. It's not even a joke. You what? don't have to defend me. What do they say? You don't have to defend me. What do they say? I have to de- that, you're defend rude. me how? I'm they don't. No one says that. This, oh, that, I mean, this, this is so rude. Why is he so rude? They they say it, if they say it to you they say it like in a jokey word from the podcast or whatever they don't really they say from their heart. they say to me that Dizzle does he re- is his brain re- does he really think the things he says and I have to say <laughs> yeah but he's cool still yeah but so no, that's, def- that's, that's defending that's you because they think they think they think no because they actually think some of the think the stupid wild things that you say they're like does this man really think this way and I've got to tell them yes nothing's manufactured <laughs> the man is a madman but he's actually cool but. <laughs> If they think I'm moany or rude, then I don't care. I'm in a business. That's all right. If, but they say, right, this is really moaning the podcast. Say, yeah, 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 them they don't play with them money there. I could, it's a joke off. You, I'm talking about in real life, people that's met you, not talking about the podcast. Forget podcast. People, people, people that has met you, yeah. Yeah. your little red face in yeah. the real bomber club. I life. said what? I'm a lovely person when they meet me. And they don't like you. Who? Nobody. Name one person that don't like me. Everybody that's mentioned you. Name one. Name Everybody. them. Tell me their name. I'm, why would I do that? So Second bun out their <laughs> blood clot. <laughs> <club. laughs> people that know me know I'm that. You, C6, people I'm that know me. Above. I'm always because I'm thinking, I right, but I always have to. Talk. All right, listen. You always shame me. I totally understand this. Let me tell you what I really How understand. That, listen, this I is. I don't what, shame you. I know exactly what. Of course you do. You fully shame when me. When have I shamed you? You fully shame when me. When have I gone out and shamed no, you? No, you ain't. Go, have you never gone out and shamed me? Because we don't go nowhere together. No, but why I, do you? Why do you think we don't go nowhere together? Because you shame me. Because you fucking shame me. You shame me. Even if I'm not with you, and people meet you. You shame me. Let me tell you something. People that like you cannot like me. Because the caliber is different. You're an idiot. So if they get on with you, they're not going to get on with me. 
No one gets some of you. I got more friends than you. You don't. Uh, brother, I got more friends than you. DJ friends. No, 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 no. I got someone for work colleagues in his friends. This is a <laughs> circle. Man, so that's not your real friends. That's, that's just that's your colleague. Everybody you roll with you is a DJ. Name everyone's surname. No, no. I got more friends than you. I, that's not DJ. I got genuine people that genuine. I promise you, right now, I could call fifty people and say, bro, send me a thousand pound, bro, and 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 they'll the same like. Bro, true, it's you, I got you. You're my brother, I got you. You're my brother, I got you. I guarantee you couldn't scrape up 58p. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. You got, a, you got, you think the yardies, them that you're in the dances with are your friends. Brother, make you, say tomorrow you stop wearing Versace and you start wearing Primark. They don't talk to you again, you know. Make sure you, make it, you didn't rain, make it rain I'm in the dance. There. What are we doing there? No, because you're trying to put me down like I'm some <laughs> madman. I got a lot of people that know me, love me. I just don't mix up and yeah, I'm not a beg it. I don't you. beg it. You know what you lot want to do? The, that's go why on. we go. No, but this is why we talk about, you know, when we talk about you being the first and the last in the dance and that. Because you're a bit of a beg it. I don't beg well, it with no one. Jokes, but you are very antisocial. You're, you're, you're rude. Not rude. <laughs> Rude. That's what they say. You're rude. I don't care what they, they say. They, it's not they say. Oh man, you're C6. Yeah, he, he keeps himself to himself. That's that's different. You're rude. They so say how come? So okay. So how they come? You're rude. So if I'm rude, you're if, rude, if I'm rude and I'm like this, how comes I am as booked and as busy and as popular as always? Because they don't check you. They, because I'm just saying, if I was an arsehole you are good at what you do. You remember, you can't be a rude and not good at what you do. That's what I mean. <laughs> It's like me. I'm allowed to be this because I'm actually funny. I'm actually okay. hilarious. I'm actually that guy. So they allow me. If I was fucking dead. If, if you were shit. They, they cuss up you say you don't have the right for this attitude. Yeah. yeah so you think, because I can actually do what I'm saying. Do you feel what I'm dealing with? That They allow me. Yeah. It's like a girl. You, you, you could go ha- go hacking sands by herself. You can bring her hacking sands. Because she, she does this. Even if she wants to go on obnoxious or whatever, she don't need you. Nah, cool. Well... I don't care what your friends say anyway. You should care because I get the backlash. Fuck your friends. Fuck them. I see, but when I see meet people that know you and whoever, I'm very Anyone that knows me likes me. And if they don't like me... And then I'm very polite to them, even with my obnoxious self. Yeah, <laughs> that's because you're looking something. Because you know I've got friends who are well off. So you're looking something. You want the money. You see the money. You see, you're not going to... You see the man pull up in his Bentley. You're going to be nice to him. I know uh-huh. you. That's what you're like. You're a user. Fool. <laughs> After I went to your friend's party and bought beer drinks there, did, did what, tell what, you? Wait, what party? The one that you sent me up was like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. I see, and I got, he got a free advert out of you as well, innit? Beer things. Yeah. You get up, the table was full of drinks. Yeah? Don't 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 piss me off. I made you look good, batty face. I made you look good. Whenever you made me look good. Never! Never! <laughs> All the editing on your face that make you look semi normal. Never. You don't do no edit on my face. You edit your face because your face is butters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, big up your friends. Yeah, yeah big up you. Big too. up the haters, them. Big Get up me. you too. Can't hold a good man down. Okay, let's go with the dilemma. Let's go. Hi, parents of elephants family. That ain't make no sense. Hi, parents of the elephants family. Oh, okay, uh, that's cool. r- no, no. That's a why. We can't be the parents. What is it? Two dads thing. What? What do you mean? What is going yeah, on here? Some, that's some yeah, you've you've missed out. You've parents. done it wrong there. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying you're the girl. To be fair. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Bro, girl. bro, your estrogen levels will always yeah. naturally make you the girl. When me and my partner got together, we both agreed we did not want children, as we're both selfish. I love spoiling ourselves. I get that, and I have got nothing wrong with that. After five years, I found out I am pregnant, which shocked me. As I'm on the pill. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, sorry. I told my partner that... He, he, I told my partner and he said, get rid of... <laughs> sorry. I've been drinking. That's, that's, the laugh is... A, um, uh, um, you know, what they say when you're, when you're n- nervous laugh? It was a nervous laugh. It wasn't really a laugh. All right. After five years, I found out I'm pregnant, which shocked me as I am on the pill. I told my partner... And he said, get rid, as we do not want children. However, now the baby's inside me. <laughs> yeah. and, and my my mind's changing. Yeah. I want to keep it. I'm feeling hormonal. I'll put that part in. My partner says, if I keep it, he won't have nothing to do with me wow. or the child. But he said, 
and it's no, te- wow. It's not wow. It's not fucking wow. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I don't want to be a single mom, but I don't want to get rid of my baby, as I may regret it for the rest of my life. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I think that you see when you get with someone or early stages, and you're like, yeah, we don't want kids or whatever. Then his act, his attitude. It's kind of more justifiable. So you just have a little cup, one night stand, and the girl's like, "You can tell her, listen, if you, I don't, you don't have it, I won't have nothing to do." But it's your woman. It's your woman. Five years. Yeah, it's your proper woman. Like you've got, you've got so much built up for you to just be able to dust out like that. <laughs> what is wrong? Because it's not what is wrong. No, there's there's something. Why does wrong. his mind have to change? So why are they? Not taking be- more, more precautions. She said she's gonna pill the dickhead. They don't want children, so she was taking the pill ever. So she's get the pill. snip. Take look, no, uh, take no, a look. No, 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 I'm no, saying, no, think about it, bro. No, listen, there's no uh, no. Listen, that's there's a bit no, too far. No, it's not. It's there's no contraception that's one hundred percent. So you maximize it. No, but no. I mean, if no, there's, he's not saying he really probably doesn't want kids now. Or it kids don't don't no now. You're what you're doing is you're now adding on. They say don't want no kids. So if you don't want no kids, no. stop doing stuff that's going to get you kids. Why are you getting on the pill? The pill is not 100%. Remember, I don't, I remember, I don't know more kids, but I'm not getting a fucking snip. The girl's got to go on the pill, you dickhead. I'm taking a snip. I'm getting a You're snip. not getting a snip. You're I'm stop, getting no, a snip. I promise you. Be real for the podcast. No, no, on a real, bro. I'm getting a snip. You're, no one's getting I'm, a snip. I'm you're getting, not fucking with, you're not gonna make I no promise fuck with you, I'm getting I, a I snip. I promise you, you're not taking a snip. Brother, I don't want no more children. I, I don't want no, no more. Children. In I, fact, in fact, I say that. Yeah, I say that. I probably will never get a snip because I know this. So the reason I say that. No, the reason I say that is because right in the moment, I don't want no more children. But I could get with someone who ain't got no children. Amazing. You know what I mean, I meet myself a nice woman, nice dread woman, beautiful, sexy. She ain't got no kids, and we just life just flourishes, and then boom. I want another, I want a whole family. So, but my mind has told me many times, get a snip, get a snip, get a snip, get a snip. Just to prevent all of this shit. Just just get a snip. I can't get a snip. I can't afford it. I've got um You can get it on the NHS. I'm not getting a snip. I've got a younger girlfriend and she hasn't got no kids, so I can't do that to her. So you're gonna give her some kids? I'll give her some kids. Are you planning on giving her kids? Yeah, because by the time she gets to a certain age, I'm dead. <laughs> so she's like, she's like <laughs> See, by the time that you reach 14, I'm out of here. Is that <laughs> You're a fool. You're a fool. Um, now, I hear you still because if I, like, I I could easily, like, just get with someone and she doesn't have kids and then have kids. Yeah, no, as I remember, Al Pacino had 83, you know? He had what? Al Pacino, 83, he breathed something the other day. Oh, he breathed something. I thought he said he had 83 kids. I'm saying, no, yo, no, he no, was no. busy. No, he breathes up at 83. At 83, that's wild. Do you know, by the time they reach reception... Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's, gone. he's out of here. <laughs> 83 is wild. Come on, that's over. That's that's silly. That's silly. <laughs> man, man's got the youth late to school, you know, because he... Man, you know, he late. Yeah, this is, you get <laughs> a... You, you, <laughs> you leave in the morning, your kid gets there at lunchtime. <laughs> Yeah, he's not doing school. Zimmer frame he's thing. Doing school cruel. Yeah, There's that's no crazy. That's school runs a myth. Um, but yeah, um, I think he's a little bit. I think the man has done it. His approach is all wrong. No, 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 no. It is, man. No. It is. It's, it's all wrong. I just think there's. There's a person that will sign a fucking contract and then the halfway through the contract is not <laughs> Who? What are you talking about, you twat? And we, and in fact, we all do that. We all actually <laughs> sign contracts and then complain. I promise you that. I promise you that. Because <laughs> my thing is, my man said from the bumper clock get go. Yes, I hear that. He didn't change his stance. He I hear try that. Try fake it or to make hear it. I hear that. I don't want no pitney. We both agreed. Pinky finger. You go on a pill. Cool. Now you. The, what I'm saying. The pitney's here. Listen. We're gonna go to the what, fucking. What clinic. I'm saying is this. Well, oh no, wait. She's talking about I don't want to go clinic. What, what I'm mean? saying is this, bro. Listen. You breached contract. She listen, breached the contract. Listen. How's it on him now? I never said it's on him. You did. You said he's not a nice guy. He's not a nice guy. How is he's he? He's not a nice guy. Because he didn't want to breach his contract. Bro, don't breed the girl, you fucking twat. Don't breed her. Don't breed her. He didn't. Who breeded her then? She breed herself because she got fucking, she's supposed to. 
She should be on something in the pill. Come with all the pills. I, I promise you this. One. I promise you this. I don't believe that. I promise one. you this, yeah? I don't believe the There's nothing. Work. If you're so adamant you don't want children, you're so adamant you don't want it, you need to take precautions for yourself. You cannot rely on someone else. Now, if, they, if their agreement is they don't ha- they're not bringing children into this relationship, that's their agreement. She's got to protect herself. He's got to protect himself. If you put it all on her, then you are silly because you've given her all the control. The, the, Jesus, that's it, bro. That is it. And, and there's nowhere in this planet that you can force a woman to get rid of a baby. Can I say something to you? So that's it. So you have to take accountability for yourself. C6. And that is it. That no. is it. No, 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 no. So you can chat your shit all you want. Because all they'll do, all they, all they do is she would, she can still get the CSA on him. She can still do all of that. So he can just be, I don't want nothing to do with you or the baby. I'll just be paying every Ross Clark month. I got a brother who pays eight bills a month for his Can one year. Say something to you. This is triggering for me. Why? Because I've been there. It's your business. <laughs> it's your fucking business. It's your business. I've been, there. I've been there. Yeah, but bro, that's your business, and I'm sorry to be so harsh, but it's your business. It's not my business. It is because you, you, you had if sex. As a man, if as a man you say you don't fuck, and why now all of a sudden you're the bad fucking guy? You're them. You see you, why you're the bad guy, and you was the you was the. Got Take. bad guy, tell you, listen, I don't want no picnic. I'm not in it. Don't rear it. No, 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 no. From the get-go. And now picnic's air. I'm supposed to mine it. Are you fucking having a laugh? Let me explain something to you, yeah? <coughs> just so, just so... Let me let me explain something to you, just so you have you a little joke, bit man. more clarity, yeah? Fucking, no, Hold on, no, calm down, no, bro, no, bro, bro, bro. One, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. That's fucked up. One at a time. And you agree, and you're one at a time. It. One at a time. Got a clip, blood. Bro, stop being dumb, man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to tell you this, yeah? You have to take accountability for yourself. And that is the fact. If you're not going to protect yourself, if you're going to put someone on the... Say, like, you you want to protect... you got a, a million pounds in, in this yard. Mm-hmm. Yeah? you got a million pounds in this yard, and you put someone else to watch the door. And people bust through the door and rob your money. Whose fault is that? <coughs> Whose people, fault is that? People are put in charge. It's your fault. How? Because you put the wrong people at your door. You didn't secure your door because it's your money. But they told me there was the right people. It's your money, bro. But they no, told let, me let there was they, the they can right tell people. you what they like, but who's lost the million? Me. Exactly. Not the doorman. The doorman was getting paid minimum wage. My point is this. If you do not want children, do not put children inside someone and expect them to stop it. So if you don't want it, protect yourself. There are protection for you to take. There's steps for you to take. So if you don't want to take them steps and you want to put it all on the lady, then it, if it goes so if it goes wrong, stop, just stop and listen. If it goes wrong, you have accountability. You so had trust, sex with her. Trust don't work no more. Fuck trust. It's a myth. Forget trust. Do you know how much man is in jail because of trust? Do you know how much man is in the cemetery because of trust? Do you know how much picnic is born because of trust? Don't trust nobody. Protect yourself. Take accountability for yourself. If you don't, if you do not want to breed, if you do not want to have sex, if you do not want to have a baby, do not release inside that lady. Just thought you someone said that to you. No, it's the truth. If you don't want to have a baby, don't release inside that lady because you got the baby. It's gonna be crazy. Man's gonna be moving shady. Uh (laughs) No, I'm telling you, bro. Like he he can't do. But I didn't. Ain't that fucked up though? No. No, bro, listen, can we not have it? Can we not have the com- Like, when you look at stuff, when we have these conversations, yeah, and you think to yourself, all right, cool. I'm for me, C6, I'm 42 years old. You're 62 years old, right? When you're sitting I here. Know, I know he's going to come with you. When, when you're lying about 42, yeah, I don't know. Right? When we're having now. these conversations as grown, big grown men, mm-hmm. we cannot talk like teenagers. We cannot talk like teenagers. So How? you, don't you tell ha- me how to talk. You to have to face. know. How? You have to know that you can. You have How are you telling me how to talk? I never told you how to talk. I said how you should be talking. I never said change it. But if you want to talk like an idiot, continue. But you just look like an idiot. No, you no. can't be 50 and, and flipping, thinking like a teenager. How? In what Take sense? accountability. In what sense? If your son went out and had, and, and had sex unprotected with someone and had, and had a child and was in this predicament, would you say, would you just blame just the girl or would your son... I would say, son, what happened? He said, dad, he would look me dead in the eye. <laughs> I said, dad, she was on the pill. I even saw her take it. 
and where, where I gave her money for the pill. Mm. So I don't know how she come with this. You, I say, son, all right, cool. It's not your fault. Girls are pagan. And for the and what would you do? You look done with the you. I said, son, like, how do you feel about? It? Do you want to be involved in the youth's life? Yeah. He says, nah, nah. I said, it's your choice, son. Uh, what about you as granddad? I'm gonna. I'm still gonna check my grandson. Why? Why your son doesn't? It doesn't exist to your son. There you go. But it exists to me. He's two people. I, he's his person. I'm my person. But, but why? If, it, but, if but it's not. How is it? It's not. It's none of it's to do with him. It's, it's not. It's, it's it's all her. She's done it to DNA. herself. And to, and to, if, if so it's the it's, it's his DNA. So he's got something to do with it. Yeah. So has he got some part to play in it? No. So why? So why would he check it's the his DNA? How is it his DNA if he's got nothing to do with it? Because she tricked him into getting his DNA. Oh, she scammed him. Scammer. There you are. Get yeah, by them there. Just from Come on, man. Grow up, man. My family's from Mobe. Yeah. <laughs> You've won the lottery, so you got to send me some sperm to get the money. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I, I Honestly, I do. I think here that this is a serious thing. I think this year that because men don't have the right to tell women to keep children or not, or not I, because we don't have the right for that. We can say what we want. It's their, 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 it's, their, it's, their, their. it's their choice. Oh, it's really? their body. It's the their choice. Point. And no matter what you do, you cannot you cannot coerce no one. You can't force no one. You can't do nothing like that. So guess what you do? You prevent it. And they have got contraception for us. Yes, it might kill the mood. It might do all sorts of stuff. But you got to prevent it. Now I promise you. you if if it, you was no hold on. If you was a if you was a multi millionaire, like famous celebrity, right? All your advisors will tell you to protect yourself. Everything that your advisors would tell you is protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself because they will sue you or they will take all your money. They would, do, you, do you get what I'm saying? So treat yourself like that. You are that celebrity. You are that millionaire. You are that. You, you might not have it in physical form, but that's who you are. You are something special. You cannot just be a fool. You can't afford to just Lego your juice in anyone. And have children with anyone. That's weird. Yeah, that's why now me so being who I am. So protect yourself. I protect. You don't have to tell me twice. So if you think like that now, but that's why I'm saying when you speak like when you speak, you should just you should say it as it is because the younger men listening are gonna listen to you as an old fart and saying, "Whoa, it's her, it's her <laughs> fault. It's her fault." But real realistically, but it's, it's, her fault. it's not. It's not. It's you. It's a joint. It's joint effort. Forcedly. <laughs> it's forcedly. All right, cool. When someone gets up, um, yeah, yeah, I hear you still. <laughs> they figure up their batty f- in the searches. It's it's falsely. That's what the same it is. You got to come Wait, in, What are you talking about? I don't know, but I'm saying searches. Yeah, brother, easy with the batty thing, man. Easy with that, man. You're a bit too on that. Anyway, forget that because you're just trying to dwell on that. I'm not dwelling, dwelling the batty. My th- <laughs> you bring it up too much, bro. Shut up. My thing is, we can't burn out my man, though. I'm not burning him out. I think he's. I think the way he's dealt with it is wrong. How? I think the is way there a right d- way to deal with it. Uh, why, why yes. Why the pussy or gallery? Yes. Is wrong? No. Let me explain. Uh, why you let, let me because let me tell you something. You I've always told you this: the diplomat wins. The diplomat always wins. If you start telling her, listen, if you don't do it, that's forcing it. Now all you're gonna do, all you're gonna do is you're either gonna force her to do it and hate you, or force her to keep it and hate you. So the best thing you do is you be diplomatic. And I promise you, the diplomat always wins. Because and this, and, and you know this. You see, if I was, uh, right, let me tell you this. If I was a president or government... You, you or would never be. You, you would know, never be. But you see, if you I would was never be. Face, this is why I'd, you wouldn't be. You know what? Because your level of education wouldn't carry you there. You're full, like, you're full no ras. You're dunce no ras. Yes, I'll take everything you're taking. Why for that? My thing is, I would do a law that says any woman that is pregnant before she can have the baby, she needs two signatures. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're an arsehole, bro. You're an arsehole. You say she needs she needs consent. Yeah. <laughs> I, consent <for. laughs> I consent for this sperm to be used. Yes. From the man. If the if you know I mean from the man. It's her fault that she can't find the baby father. That's nothing to do with us. We need the, he, the, the man's consent form that, yes, I am willing to go through with this pregnancy from this woman. And he signs it off. Boom. Okay, cool. So then he ain't got no talk. So let me ask you a question. But don't then. try to come All right, cool. And I respect that. But you see, That's you see, the law. All right, you see. I'll come with that but, but what would you do? But what, what would you do 
What does that dad have to do in turn? He's got to be there for the youth. Proper, proper. 100% or he got prison. He got, all right, cool. As long as it's balanced. It's balanced, now you go to prison. As long as it's balanced. You don't find, you go to prison. So if you don't deal with... D-wing. <laughs> if, you don't deal, if you don't deal with your use, you go to jail. 100%. And that's not just send money. No, I'm talking no. time, you effort. You've got to do everything. Or you go to jail. You, you, you ain't right, got time for your use, you go and do time. Okay, that there, that's the best thing you've ever said in your yeah. life. And every time that you don't spend with your youth, that's, that takes, that's on your time. <laughs> you say, well, how long you got, boy? I got triple life. What? You didn't see them for three days? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see them? Uh, no, they told you, oh, boy, boy, we was bombed. <laughs> Me and the baby, what I fell out. You was 27 now still. <laughs> so I got 27 years. That's mad. I like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I like that. That'd be my thing, bro. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, then your law might, then I will, I will support your law. Because of the balance. But yeah. if it's just one-sided. No, no, no. It and helps. It protects the family. It protects the family because you got to go into it. You got to go into it properly. You're signing. But, you, but do you know what would happen then? Shall I tell you what would happen if that well, was the law? Yeah. You know all that. You know this will go all the way back to the beginning of the conversation because people will protect themselves because you're saying that the men will go to jail and the women have to get the signatures. It will go straight back to the beginning of this conversation when I said the man. Protect himself and the girl protects herself. I promise you. No, it would, you, I you, promise you. You forgot the loophole. No, I promise you. You forgot the loophole. What's the loophole? The call out in money. If I don't sign, this, this just to kill you. Yeah, but that alone will stop her. That will make her protect herself even more. And it will make the man protect himself even more. Because yeah. whichever way it goes, someone's going to be punished, isn't it? You yeah. get what I'm saying? Because if you have to, if you can't get the signature and you're forced down. No. There, Listen, if no, she wait, can't if wait. she can't get two signatures, she's gonna be forced to have an abortion, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and if you see, and all right, it's gonna go back to what you said, where a man's gonna protect himself. Because I've just I've got the law now, where I'm gonna protect every blood clot body. Yeah. So man is gonna definitely strap up, me included. Yeah. So the law is, yeah, if you don't strap up, yeah, and then you you still have to as you get pregnant, you still you can't not not sign a signature. It's mandatory. Yeah, oh, you have to. You have to. So you can sign the signature for her to have the abortion. It's cool, but then you have to do one year in prison for manslaughter. Yeah. So it just goes straight back to the first thing. That's what I said. Let's go so back. then, so then, cool. So what? Why? Why do all these laws and put everyone in jail when all you can do is just wear a condom in the beginning? Because no, man ain't doing that. We so have to have it you know us, man. We have to have incentive. Even in, we have to have laws in pom pom. <laughs> So you're saying, we you're saying, so basically you're saying you agree with me, yeah. but to, to, in order to agree with me, a couple of people have to go to jail first. No, it's a bit, no, remember, it's, remember, because remember, killing a, a you or whatever is extreme. So we have to do ex extreme for extreme. So then just don't fucking do it in the first place. But then, then but we have to have the law first, or it's not man ain't just doing it. Man ain't doing it. What man about if care. you, what about if you tell your son, I tell my sons, and you... Talk properly on this podcast so the young is listening and then hopefully it just has a knock-on effect rather than trying to change the law. That's the equivalent of us, the people them that get stabbed and they're marching every Wednesday. Hmm? I'm talking about when, you, when someone gets stabbed and then you have a riot or a march. It happens the week after. Nothing happens. So you can say we can tell do you think there's, do you think there's good? Do you think there's, you think there's no change at all? No. It, the you think, you think, do you think the, even if you affect some people and you make like you no, don't no, no. remember it's not the people remember you what we realize is even when i off topic you see like the marches we've got to remember the youths then don't watch marches on their phone or tiktok or, or see people crying that's not what that's not on their algorithm you got what i'm dealing with so where the, it's just the victims that's seeing it so there's no change there you think there's zero change because remember, the, the the and then there's a step in two weeks yeah but what two, i'm I mean, yes 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 south. but what i'm explaining Freedom. to you what I'm explaining to you is this. The murder capital of S England. Some... <laughs> some uh, <laughs> 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 seize up. Seize up. <laughs> what I'm saying is this, yeah? Do you not think that when these... When awareness is raised, yeah? That some parents and some people that... Some other guardians and big brothers and stuff start to notice patterns and stop some kid somewhere... From going down the road. So I'm not saying it's going to stop the stabbing altogether. Because some people are in too deep. Because even if you made that law that you just said. There's going to be holy people that still go to jail. But it will deter some. So when you march and you protest. And you put stuff on Instagram. Maybe we have big grown up conversations. 
it uh, it opens the minds of some other people and it it changes a small selection of people's trajectory. I guarantee you that if you found out that something was happening in a local area, like this local area, and it was affecting the youth them, and you was like, hold on a second. I swear that like where my son hangs around and you said, you know what? I seen this on Instagram. You're not going there again. Yeah, that's it. Because now you've seen it. You've been alert to it. My son, you're not going there again. And you stop him going there. And in that place, you hear about it a couple of months later and everybody there got mash up. But your son didn't because he... Did did that not work then? It might not have worked for the youth that got mashed up, but did it work for you and your son? Yes, it did, clearly. So that's why I'm saying there's nothing is ineffective. It might not be as effective as you want it to be, but it's not ineffective. That's like the same of like Puss and Dog now the same lot type of But thing. they don't. I know, so you can't base one someone's success and say and paint that as a whole picture. Of I'm not doing that, but what I'm saying you know what is mean, you cannot say... What you're doing. No, I'm not, because what, no, what, no, because what I'm explaining to you is it might not be as successful as you want it to be, but it's still successful. If marching and these things never did anything point blank, then they would have stopped a long time. There are, it, even if it's 1%, that's why if you give a message out to some to, 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 to the youth them and you speak to a million and it changes the life of one, is that not, it, it's not pointless. It's not as effective as you want it to be, but it's not pointless. You've saved one person. You see what I'm saying? So all these things do save people. It's just not enough. But it's still something. It's still someone. It's still enough to, to, to for it not to be pointless. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why you can't totally rub it out. Okay. Anyway, we're in Patreon. <laughs> we're in Patreon ter- ter- no, we're not. What time is it? Yes. We're in Patreon. I okay, know okay, cool. It's over half now. We're in Patreon territory. Right, we got the Patreon. So, Yo, people, listen, make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash elephant in the room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right, because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You're also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and they're going to have the opportunities. All right, so jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room, all right? So join us over on Patreon and peace.